The Kansas City Royals traveled deep into the heart of Texas to take on the Houston Astros at the Big Juice Box, Minute Maid Park. Adam Conlin lefty making his eighth start of the year for KC with a 3.46 ERA. Bottom half of the second, Carl, or George Springer is going to start things off with a single. So he's on first base. Next batter up is Carlos Correa. And he is going to launch a ball into the Crawford Street boxes. A two-run shot off the bat of Carlos Correa. His 100th career home run makes it a 2-0 Astros lead. Conley would settle in later in the inning, now with one out. Martin Maldonado grounds out to third base. Easy play for Moustakis, and then with two outs, Mariznik goes down swinging on the big breaking ball. Move things on to the top half of the third. Francis Marte on the mound for the Astros, his eighth start of the year. And the first pitch of the top half of the third goes to Hunter Dozier, and he connects on it and sends it into the Crawford Street boxes. A solo shot for Hunter Dozier, and it's now a 2-1 game as the Royals are on the board. Move things to the top half, of the, or the bottom half of the third as we check back in with Adam Conley who has a 1-2-3 inning completed by getting Bregman to ground out. Move things on to the top of the fourth. Now where Moustakis is absolutely destroying a pitch in it to the right field seats. A solo shot ties this game up at two. They weren't done there, though. Two batters later, it's Jorge Bonifacio. He also connects on a pitch. This one's going into left field. Another solo shot for the Royals, and it's now a 3-2 game. KC in the lead. Bottom half of the fourth, runner on first, two outs. Marwin Gonzalez going down swinging, and it's still a 3-2 game. Top half of the fifth, Hunter Dozier ahead in the count. Almost hit. Hits another home run with a long fly ball, but it dies out right at the wall in center field. Then with one out, Whit Merrifield came up, and he would punish a ball off of the left field wall. Left fielder had some trouble with it, and it triggered a slow motion animation. So Whit Merrifield got into third base, standing up on a ball hit into left field. And then with two outs, Craig Gentry hits one in the left for a base knock, drives in Merrifield. It's now a 4-2 Royals lead. Bottom half of the fifth, Martin Maldonado hits one. Looks like an easy play. Moustakis doesn't field it. So it's an infield single for Maldonado. He's on first. Mariznik then goes down on the up and in fastball, swinging. So with one down, Maldonado on first. Guriel grounds one out to Merrifield. He only has a play at first, so Maldonado's on second with two outs. Josh Reddick gets jammed, and it's going to bloop over the head of Moustakis into left field. Maldonado's getting risky and going home, and he's able to get in as it's now a one-run lead for the Royals. Still the bottom half of the sixth, or moving on to the bottom half of the sixth inning now, as Springer, swinging bunt, gets an infield single with one out. Correa then picks up a single of his own, this one into right field. So first and second for the Astros. In a 4-3 game, Marwin Gonzalez with one swing of the bat puts the Astros on top with yet another home run in this ballgame. A three-run shot makes it 6-4, to four. Houston in the lead. And that would end Adam Conley's day. He had a good game going until that three-run shot. Jake Jewell comes in to relieve him for the ninth time this season. And with one out, he would get Maldonado to ground at second base for the number two outs. And then for the final out, Jake Marisnik pops one up to the catcher, Perez, who puts it away for that final out. Move things on to the bottom half of the seventh. Jewel still on the mound. Guriel launching one with another home run in this game. Now a 7-4 game as the Astros extend their lead. Next batter up would be Jose Altuve later in the inning with runners on first and second. Bloops it in front of Bonifacio and left, and the runner from second scores to make it an 8-4 Astros lead. That would end Jules Day as Brandon Maurer comes out of the pen now. First and second, nobody out. And Springer is going to rip one into right field, and another run's going to come in. It's now a 9-4 Houston lead. They weren't done there, though. Correa gets a ground ball out to short. That's a 6-4-3 double play. So that was a runner on third with two outs. But Marvin Gonzalez continues his, his good day as he has an RBI single to make it a 10-4 game. Joe Smith then came on with that score in the top half of the ninth. Jorge Soler... 
pops up it from the underarm pitcher for the one for the first out next batter would be jorge bonifacio he gets jammed and pops it up into foul territory for out number two and then for the final out of the ball game joe mauer pops one up into right field a one two three inning for joe smith and the houston astros win this one by a score of 10 to 4 over the kansas city royals astros improve the 24 and 16 on the year while the royals drop to 17 and 23. Carlos Correa gets player of the game honors. He was two for four in the day with a two-run shot. He also scored twice. Mario Gonzalez, two for four. He had four RBI, also a home run. George Springer, three for four. Yuri Gurriel had a solo shot. That was his only hit of the day. Hector Rondon gets the win. Adam Conley gets the loss. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Kansas City Royals Baseball. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. Well, we can't salute you.